Making life work. Um, that's a real narrow subject, isn't it? But actually, I know that it is. Because when I say how to make life work, every single one of you are applying that to something specific in your world. Maybe it's something in a relationship, a marriage with children. Maybe it's something with finances. Maybe it's an issue in your own physical health or fitness or whatever. Maybe it's a goal to achieve a certain thing with your career, ministry, whatever. It's something God's put in your heart, a dream, and for some reason it just seems like the expectations deep in your heart just aren't happening the way they should. How do we make life work? Well, the Bible says in 1 John 5 that faith is the victory that overcomes the world. So somewhere it's going to be an issue of our faith. Now, I don't know about you, but I have a good idea that it's the same battle that goes on in my mind and in the people around me. It's going on in yours, and that's this, that when you push up against something, you pray, you ask God, you use your faith, you, you speak to the mountain, and the mountain just stares at you and doesn't move. Things don't seem to change. Things don't seem to go forward. That here comes the devil. Here comes that condemnation. Here comes that negative energy right into your mind saying something's wrong with your faith. You're not doing it right. You don't know what you're doing. You're always a failure. The Bible actually calls the devil the accuser of the brethren. That's, that is his weapon. He's bringing condemnation and accusation and judgment. And often he brings judgment to say that our faith isn't any good, that our faith that doesn't work, that we're too weak in faith. Well, the reason he does that is because he knows that if we ever find out what kind of faith we have, it's over for him. The Bible says in Romans chapter 12, verse 3, But I say through the grace of God given unto me to every man among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. Not a measure, the measure. What does that mean? It means every one of us have received the same measure. Now, you got enough faith when God gave it to you. However, I want to tell you, faith can grow. We can feed it, we can nourish it, we can grow it. But you are given the measure of faith. One Bible teacher said that in the Greek, it could easily be translated, God has given you a piece broken off of. What that means is, He gave you something that He broke off of His own faith. He reached inside himself and broke off a piece of his faith and put it in you. And each of us got a piece and it's the same size, but it's God's faith. And you know Mark 11 22 says, have faith in God. But literally in the Greek it says, have the God kind of faith or have the faith of God. According to that, God broke a piece of his faith off and that's the faith that's in you. Now, wait a minute, think about that. That means that faith was in God when God said, let there be light, and there was light. When God stopped the mouth of the lions and saved Daniel. When God's word split the Red Sea. When the devil tells you that your faith is no good, reminding it's not my faith, it's God's faith given to me, and it has never known a failure. And guess what? It's not going to start failing now. Use this faith. It's God's faith on loan to you. It's never failed, and it's going to work for you right now. We do all this for you. We want to see your life empowered. We want to see it better. We want to see fruit that brings God glory. So if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Tell us you liked it, but also give us a comment. Tell us other things you'd like to hear us address, subjects, things that would really help your life. If you like this, also subscribe. That way you'll be notified with future videos because we want you to not miss out on anything God has to give you to make your life better. God bless you.